cows torment you, and corn is grow on your feet, and crabs as big as cockroaches crawl around your balls and eat. And when all the world's forsaken you, and your life's a total wreck, may you fall through your golden assholes and break your fucking neck. A bunch of the boys were hooking it up in one of those Yukon halls, while the boy that handled the music box was stealthily scratching his balls. The stampede kid with his hand on the box to the lady no loan is living, while down on the floor on top of a whore lay dangerous Dan McGurk. Then out of the night, as black as a ditch, and into the den of the smoke, came a shaky old crick right up from the crick with a rusty load in his coat. He elbowed his way through the flea-bitten crowd while he clutched at the crotch of his pants. He looked like a man with a dose of the clap in the last stages of the same bite of sack. His bitches were split and covered with spit. It looked like the white of an egg. His balls hung low and swaying to and fro every time he moved his legs. His face was as red as a baboon's ass while the passion within him burned. He lolled out his cock to display to the flock and every asshole squirt. The lights went out, I ducked to the floor, and the stranger sprang in the dark. His aim was true, and the sparks they flew when his donnaker found its mark. Midnight and rain and screams of pain, and a man's voice was heard in the room. There were sighs and moans and sparks and groans. We saw the place that in the room. Then the lights came on, and the stranger arose with a satisfied look on his hand. But there on the floor, with his asshole sore, lay poor old dangerous Dan. 